Hello folks, just uh, thought I hadn't posted in about a week so uh, not a lot of new things to report. We're still waiting to hear when things get back to normal so we're still sort of under self quarantine here. Uh, I just did a big uh, shop at uh, the local, the closest supermarket and now the cat's getting into all the goodies because he knows some of them are for him. Uh, <laughs> Um, it did cost me a bit of money, uh, so, you know, I get paid in person for everything that I do, and so, no money for like three months now, and, uh, no end quite in sight yet. Some provinces are opening up Jiangsu, and, uh, the lockdown in, uh, Wuhan ends on April 8th, so that's some great news there. Um... Nobody's checking your temperature coming in and out of the neighborhood anymore. They're still set up there, uh, but they just kind of chat with you. They just keep an eye on things. Um, and uh, went to the bank, and uh, they're wearing masks, gloves, and sanitizing after every uh, customer goes to the window, which is amazing. Uh, friendly, playing with the kids. You know, everybody's still being cautious, but we're trying to live our lives. Uh, so just a quick uh, view of all the stuff that I bought. Let's have a look here. So, here's my little monster. He hates it when Daddy goes out. So, I had to get some... Uh, Kitty litter. This was about, I don't know, I guess about 650 Canadian for, ugh, that's got to be 5 kg. That'll do me for a while. Uh, sort of my, my mini sugar free Cokes, a couple of cases of that. Uh, that's less than 10 bucks Canadian for the two cases, so there's 24 little bottles there. That keeps me going. Too much to take the big bottles. Uh, okay, now we got to sort through all this fun stuff. Lots of chips. Uh, I like salty things. And uh, this is a new thing. Uh, these are from Spain, apparently, these uh, potato chips. So I got a paprika one and a ham one, which ho hopefully tastes like, like bacon chips. That would be really good. Uh, cost me over 100 Canadian. And of course, Wet food for the monster. Dry food for the monster. Partial, he's partial to whiskers. A uh, couple of my cheesy Doritos here. Lots of chips. Some instant noodles. Coating. A little sugar. Uh, Coating for chicken. So McCormick actually sells in China. Uh, a couple of tuna for tuna salad sandwiches, which makes for a lovely snack. Coffee, that's a bit expensive. Uh, it's 86 Chinese. Instant mashed potatoes. Little thing of Hormel bacon, very small. Little piece of pork here. You just gotta get in everything. A couple of meatballs. Some American ham and a thing of creamer and that's that's my big shop for today so now I'm stocked up on the old snacks uh, lots of stuff for dinner lots of chips well stocked in coffee and we're we're ready to go for the next few days so uh, I'd love for you guys to share your isolation stories how are you guys holding up uh, Lots of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so please subscribe down below and uh, click like if you like it and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how you're uh, handling and coping with uh, this sort of worldwide lockdown. Uh, I've been in self-isolation for almost three months now, uh, waiting for a sign from the government that everything is opening up. And uh, so hopefully we're going to hear soon. Uh, so would love to hear from you. So see you soon. Bye-bye.